Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about measurement of errors in forecasting. So what I have here is a six months of data for which the actual sales demand is provided. So in the first month, my actual demand was 22 units. In month two, it was 25 and so on. Now based on some forecasting method, for example, here I have chosen exponential smoothing uh, to make my forecast where my alpha is 0.45 and the forecast for the first month is 20 units. So this here is my seed value and then based on my alpha and my seed values, I'm making the forecast for the subsequent time periods. So it's alpha times 80 actual in the previous plus one minus alpha times forecast in the previous time period. Once I have the formula, I simply drag and drop and I have the forecast. So now I have my actual and I have my forecast based on which I can calculate my error. By definition in forecasting, your error is nothing but an absolute difference between your actual and your forecasted value. So I can simply say here equals absolute difference between my actual and my forecasted value. Right, so for example, let's say your actual was 22 and your forecast either gave you 18 or 20. It really does not matter whether it's plus or minus on an, av on an absolute terms, you were two units off. So that's really what an error means. The difference between your actual and your forecasted. So we'll simply copy the formula and we'll have all the errors in the six time periods. To calculate your MAD, your MAD is simply a sum of your errors divided by the sum of, divided by the number of errors. So I have six time periods, I have six errors, and that's really my MAD. So again, it's nothing but a sum of my errors divided by the number of errors. That's MAD, to get, which is my mean absolute deviation. To calculate MSE, which is the mean square of errors, sorry about this message, we'll now need to calculate error squared. So error to the power of two, or you can simply say error times error. Either way, it's fine, right? So all you need to do is just take a square of your errors. Once you've calculated your error square, now for your MSE, Again, it's the same thing. You take the sum of your error squares and you divide it by the number of errors, which is six. Lastly, to calculate your MAPE, the mean absolute percentage error, you would calculate a term, which is error over actual times 100, right? So it's error, which is my two, my actual is 22, so 2 over 22 divided by, uh, sorry, times 100 is really what I'm trying to calculate here. I would copy the formula, and to calculate my MAPE, it's nothing but sum of error over actual times 100 over number of errors, right? So your MAD is 4.75, MSE is 28.56, and MAPE is 17.47. Hope this helps. Thank you.